This is my IBM 300GL 627583U. A beautiful machine, actually. I really like the way it looks. I dig it. I've even got the matching keyboard and mouse. That's pretty rare for me if you've ever seen any of my other computers. Um, yeah. Beautiful machine. Doesn't work. It sucks. That's the problem. I got this from the automotive technology department at my school. Um, and let me just say, it didn't work at all. Like, seriously, at all. Um, <laughs> when I first, very first got it, sorry about the weird camera angle, I, um, <clears throat> I tried to boot it up with this monitor, it's an NEC, uh, big fat CRT here, focus, come on, and, uh, Tried to get it to work, and at first I thought the monitor was just not working correctly or something. I mean, I know CRTs really don't break all that often. I don't know, maybe they do. All of mine are broken except for this one, but uh, I assumed it was a CRT, so I switched it out with my come on. Sorry about that. Um, with, uh, with my uh, e machines flat screen monitor, which I know works, that's why I use it on my main computer. And um, I see that Mr. C camera, come on. Fix yourself right now. I'm so sorry about this. This is going, this is going as, as worse as I could have possibly planned. But, um, <clears throat> I tried it with the flat screen monitor. Still didn't do squat. So now I could assume it's a computer. It turns out the video RAM, which uses, uh... Have you ever seen the RAM in an old laptop? That's the kind of RAM it, it uses for a video RAM. I don't remember what it's called off the top of my head. But, uh, that's the kind of RAM it uses. And it was very loose in its slot. So I put some spacers, little made out of paper spacers, in between the little plastic hitches and the RAM to push it downwards a little bit. To make sure it's, you know, kind of not bouncing up and down in the slot. And that made it display, kind of. Now it beeps. That's what I got to. I was very confused, very upset. And, uh... I took out the RAM that was in there, which was an original stick of IBM, and a stick of, uh, I don't know, memory savers or something, and, uh, replaced it with my own RAM, which I know works. Let me just say, that didn't help, actually it did help a little bit, that's right. It displayed once, then it just kept beeping. <laughs> that's all it would do, it just kept beeping, it was beginning to make me very unhappy, and so, what I did was, over the course of like three days-ish, I determined that, what the problem was, and let me show you that, now, oh, this is gonna be a pain, because now I have to take the CRT off of there, and that's, yeah, okay, sorry about the wibbly-wobbly, but, uh, See here, this expandability thing. Well, this connects to the power supply. I believe it also acts as a controller card because uh, you can't see it right now, but there's an IDE cable that connects here. Oh, there it is. Below it, and on the other side, you can't see that. That's too covered. And that connects to the motherboard like an expandability card, except it's the other way around. It's really the motherboard connect to it, like a sound card or a video card. Kind of like, you know, that kind of thing. And that's how it works. And we determined that there was a bad connection. Well, we, as in me and my pop, determined that there was a bad connection between the, uh, the motherboard and I'll just call it the everything card, because that's what I like to call things. Um... <laughs> And, uh, so I took this entire motherboard and everything card out of here and connected them, like, separately outside of the case with only the CPU and RAM connected, made sure it was really tight. And, uh, well, guess what? That worked. It booted when I plugged it into a, um, monitor and the power supply. And, uh, what came next was... I put everything back in and absolutely positively made absolutely sure that motherboard was right against that everything card. Like, there's a little line drawn on the motherboard even just to make sure the user knows, you know, 
that it's right against the everything card. And so I made sure it was lined up right at the line. Couldn't go any further in. And guess what? Now boots every time. So yeah. Now I've made a gigantic mess. Because I had to move everything out of the way in order to get inside the case. So, sorry for the bad camera. I'll be back. Okay, so. Now that my desk is back in order. Um... Yeah, that seemed to solve the problem, except for it, it still has some minor problems. Every once in a blue moon, like if I install a sound card, or uh, I install an ethernet card, and um, every once in a while, when you do that, it'll beep the beep code 133 or 131. Now, excuse me, I couldn't find what 133 means for this IBM BIOS, like, it didn't seem to even be listed as a beep code. But I think it was 133 or 131 that um, meant it has a problem writing to the CMOS or reading writing from the CMOS. I think that's what 131 was. That's what I th thought it was. That's what it said, I think. Um, so that's apparently what it was. So I replaced the CMOS battery. Still sends out that beep code, just not as often anymore. It doesn't boot to either of the codes when those codes happen. It just doesn't boot either. So, yeah. But it does work besides that. Also, it does not restart. Like, if you try and restart that thing, like if you have Windows restart it, or DOS restart it, this has Windows, Um, then it'll just beep at you. 133 if you're curious. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what the deal with that is. And sometimes it just beeps at you anyway, so like, I'll bet right now, since I tore it apart and put it back together, I'll guarantee, not guarantee, but I'll bet that when I try and turn it on, because I will turn it on in this video, that it'll either beep, be completely silent and not display anything, because that's another thing it does, but that's one that's a lot more rare, or it'll actually boot, actually, I don't know if it'll actually, I don't know, this is a computer. <laughs> Something awesome to note about this monitor, which I'm really glad it has, is built-in speakers. You notice those two black holes? Those are speakers. Only problem is, is I have, it came with a Formosa 21, um, SC4000, and I can't find any drivers for it. I mean, I look, I googled it, looked on multiple sites for drivers, and all I found were driver updaters, and, uh, Honestly, this thing isn't connected to the internet or anything, and the one driver update I've never used a driver updater, but, so I might sound like a dope here, but I'm not connected to the internet, and even if I was, it had a problem setting up every time I tried to install it, so, yeah, and the other times, I downloaded it, so I'm no tech-savvy dude over here, I'm, I'm just a lame, lame little boy, and, uh, when, uh, when I downloaded a driver for it, like, when I download drivers for pretty much everything, um, it tends to be an EXE file, because it's the only thing I can use, because I don't know how to, I don't know how to, um, work those crazy things if they're not an EXE, so, very, very annoying. Of course... I'll guarantee there are plenty of people out there who are like, Oh, you just use this, that, and the other thing. And I think they're the thing, I don't know, maybe I just can sound like another idiot. Um, I think you use a driver installer, and that's how you install those kind of things, but I don't know. I don't know much about them, I can't really deal with it. So I put in a compact Wavetable Business Sound audio card. I know that one works, and I know it's... Windows 95 had the drivers for it, Windows 98 seemed to have, or Windows 95 seemed to have the driver for it, Windows 98 had the drivers for it, so I assumed Windows XP did, Windows XP had the um, driver for it, and it installed it, but I don't know if it installed it correctly, because it came up as like seven different devices, it's got audio jack, line, or yeah, headphone jack, line in, line out, mic jack, standard game port, um, and then it had all the hardware that's on the sound card, rather than just being like, oh, um, SC4000C sound card, or, um, Sound Blaster 16 sound card, or, sound card. 
So, I don't know if that's what XP just does, but for some reason it doesn't play sound. And I don't know if that's the monitor. Actually, is it the monitoring speakers? I don't think so. I think I tested them. Either way, you guys are probably bored as hell just watching me talk about this while you see most of a computer. So, let us turn on the computer, and that will be ever so slightly more exciting. Am I right? No? Whatever, I'm going to do it anyways. Okay, welcome back to this thing. Um, so, <laughs> minor difficulties trying to get this stupid Chinese tripod to, you know, be at the right level and stuff. But who needs that? We don't, we don't need that garbage. So, let us turn it on. First, we're going to turn on the CRT. Hear it make CRT noises? I sure did. I don't know if you did. Okay, you're probably if if this isn't recording in mono, you're probably hearing all the noise coming from the left speaker. So whatever, let's let's turn it on. Come on, work like a normal. Nope. How unsurprising, am I right? Okay, you have to press and hold it to turn it off too when it does this. Now, be completely offended. Be sure to rage in the comments about what I'm about to do. T call me a barbarian. Call me hell. Call me Satan. Because I'm about to hit a computer. P.S. This actually works every time. That I, every time this thing has problems, I just smack it a little bit back here. Maybe a little bit on the side. Watch as it doesn't work because I said it works. And it works. Batter is just going to do the sign when no boot thing. But look at it booting. It's going to be completely out of focus, isn't it? Beautiful IBM goodness. <laughs> this, this is not a slow boot process. By which I mean it's a slow boot process. I don't know. It's actually not that bad. It's... Mediocre. P.S. Whoops. This did not come with Windows XP back in the day. We're going to adjust this awesome monitor so that you guys can... Whoops. Uh. Jeez, did the entire room just get dim? Okay. We're going to try and make it... What? Come on. Cooperate, please. There. Beautiful. Exit. You can see that, right? It's still oversaturated. I gotta... Ugh. Monitor controls. Everybody... Everybody knows them. A.K.A. nobody. Come on. Is that working? It's working for you, it's super dim for me, but I, I don't really care, actually. Beautiful IBM original mouse. Uh... Ah, crap. Okay, you're not gonna see that, okay? I, I'll edit that out, specifically so you don't see that. Ugh, that's not supposed to be shown. You can know I'm Brian, but you can't know my last name. Okay, welcome. To the wonderful world of Windows XP. Let's test that monitor's beautiful sound. Crank it. Okay. Um. I don't remember where the uh, control for. Was that the computer? Is that working? Is that this computer's speakers? There's a volume thing. Let's try it. Come on. Crank it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hey, it works. I'm honest to God surprised, actually. That didn't work the other day. I guess the computer just needed a good old-fashioned reboot. 29 days left. 
I gotta register when Windows XP. My network place is my documents. Uh, my documents, huh? That's where music is. Ah, crap. Excuse me. That's that um driver updater thing I was talking about. That didn't work. I think it has a problem when it tries to open these WAV files, which is kind of weird. Okay, Augustus. Uh, wait, no. Is it a WAV? Okay, let's try it, boys and girls. Is it possible to... Actually, you probably can hear this just fine. It's probably not even copyrighted, but I don't know. my favorite one okay no more of that oh yeah here's something I've always thought is weird about this thing <laughs> this is not even related to this IBM anymore is it uh, it comes with this two weird files one of them is called music and that one's look into the eyeball or no like like humans do in the album look into the eyeball by I forget who it is, but, uh, we're gonna look for video, actually, because there's another video called Sample. Did it just beep at me? I can't, I can't tell. But there's a video called Sample. And, um, it's kind of weird. Wait, what? There are no files found. Do you want to quit? Huh. I don't know. Maybe that's an SP2 thing. Hi. Okay. That's weird. I don't know. There used to be. I don't know if it's just my ThinkPad, but uh, it has a file called music, and there's also a file called sample. So we're going to type in music and search for all the music in this. Yeah, look at that. Stop. Okay. Musico. This is going to be super loud. I can't handle it. I'm not going to play this for long, but I mean, hey. Beautiful. I'm sorry you can't listen to the whole song. I'll, it's probably not copyrighted unless Microsoft like, bought the rights to it or something. Either way, I don't want to risk it. I probably already played too much of it. Yeah. But beautiful IBM. You, you can't help but say this is the best IBM ever. You can help but say that, actually. Next video? Hopefully my ThinkPad. Which, by the way... Probably before the end of this video, I will show you the video called Sample. You know what, maybe maybe it's, maybe it's I just didn't look hard enough. I think it's called Sample. Pictures, music, or video. We're gonna go video. Search for it, baby. Look at him, he's got a little thing. Music, damn it. Excuse my language, I couldn't find it. Apparently it's not on this computer. Which I guess is good. <laughs> but yeah, now... Let me just see if it's going to restart, because it's having a good day already. So let's restart it. Is it going to play the Microsoft log off sound? Because why is it working now? That's so weird to me. That amazes me. It didn't play the startup sound. You heard it. Did you? Am I just an idiot? Okay. It normally doesn't beep when it restarts. It's working. Look at this thing. It's a masterpiece. You can't help but say, it's having a good day. You don't know this like I do. It's having a very good day. Why is the monitor not doing anything? Okay, there it is. Yeah, we'll get it. 
percent improvement over every other day I've owned it. Beautiful. And on a personal note, thank my school for donating me this computer. It's, it's honestly, it's a pretty good computer. Now, in case you didn't notice, you probably didn't actually because I didn't show you the top of the monitor. It's yellowed. Pretty bad. Um, the computer itself has a light yelling and a yellow wing in a little area, so keyboard's a little yellowed, but the monitor's the worst. Like, on the top of it, it's really yellowed. I'll show you later, but, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna retrofit it for two reasons. I don't have the materials, I don't have the money, and I don't have the time. It's a CRT. It's an old CRT. Who cares? I mean, if this was supposed to be a show computer... I'd do many things to it besides just retro bright it. I'd get rid of the little epoxy blob, which got on a screen somehow. I'd get rid of all the epoxy on top of it, which got there somehow. Um, I'd uh, clean all the plastics really nice and stuff. Oh, it's... Yeah, I don't know if it normally does this. Maybe I installed it wrong or something, but... It tells me that it's safe to turn off your computer, which I know is what, like, 98... Sometimes does in 95, I think, used to do. But, uh, yeah. I don't know, it's not normal for me. I don't really see that message very often. Either way, now time for the bonus content. The stuff I'm gonna be showing you while we're rolling the credits. Also, P.S., you might notice some background. That is courtesy of my friend, Mr. Jamison. Or Jamison, I really hope I didn't butcher his name. Come on. Please. Stop recording. Should I include this as a boot blooper? Why is it not? Quick thingamajigger, this is the top of the monitor. You can't really see it very well because it's just lighting in general. But it's actually pretty badly out. It really isn't that bad right here. But back here, it just... Eh. You can't see it, unfortunately, and I'm not, I'm too lazy to bring that light over here. It's just gonna make it look even worse yellow than it actually is. And in some of these holes, I think it's toward the back, there's like a clear epoxy inside them. And none of this is showing up because crappy camera. Yeah, you might see that thing. That is an epoxy. I think. It's hard, it doesn't come off, and I don't want to scratch the screen trying, so, yeah, that's that. And last but not least, we're going to show you that sample video. For all videos. I like Melvin, he's kind of cute. For a wizard. <laughs> I mean, look at that big goofy cartoon nose. Also, no, those cross hatches aren't there. You know what it's like to record a laptop screen with a, with a phone. Yes, by the way, I've used my phone this entire time. He just kissed my phone. Ew, I gotta wash this thing. Ew. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. I gotta cut this out. This is already so stupid long. Okay. So now Melvin is doing his thing. So, there you go. So, here's clock. It's, it's, I'll have to show you all of these in my, um, video. But, uh, well, except for a couple of them, but here's sample. I mean, I'll probably show you most of them, just not, like, weird stuff. Okay, sample time. Oh, I gotta stop speaking, I'm just ruining my reputation. There. Well, at any minute now. Okay.
Okay, this is not my child. I did not record this. I did not put this on my computer. Maybe this came with Firefox or something. I don't know where it came from. It's on my computer. It's creepy. I'm probably going to get rid of it. I mean, it's not creepy. It's some person's child. But I just don't want it on my computer. I don't know who it is. So, yeah. Let the glory begin, huh? See, it's really not creepy. It's just creepy that it's on my computer. I don't want it on my computer. This segment of video, you probably only got to see like I don't know, tw to like t two minutes, one minute. This probably this segment probably only took one minute, but it took me eight minutes to record this because this computer is abysmally slow for some reason. Turns out Spotify accidentally opened and was eating my CPU alive. And so, yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Um, clearly the credits have probably long finished by now. Thank you. And good night. Mwah.